It's so good to be back with you again. Today I'm going to share with you some insights on that comfort zone we all have. I know that I have one. As a young child, some traumatic things happened, and it caused me to kind of close in and, and be alone even when I was in public with people. You ever feel that way? Well, I want to share with you some key principles and practices and some processes for breaking out of your comfort zone. I remember one time I was in a coaching session and I was trying to describe to a client what it must feel like to be in this comfort zone when this client needed to learn how to get out of the comfort zone and make cold calls to find new customers and clients. I said, does it ever feel like this? You're inside this warm house. Oh, it's so comfortable. And the phone is out in the yard and outside there's a blizzard with horizontal snow. It's freezing cold and there's the phone. And you gotta kinda catch your breath, <sighs> get psyched up, okay? Then you open the door and you run out and you pick up the phone and you dial the number. Ring, 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 no answer. <sighs> Cortisol surge. Next one, ring, 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 pick it up. No answer, cortisol surge. Pick it up, ring, 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 answering machine. Ah, oh, sense of relief, and you leave a number, hang it up, run back in the house, shut the door, and try to get warm again. And you might be in there for some time before you find the courage and the comfort to go back out to make another phone call. And they said, yes. Now, this was a fun client, so I said, now imagine you were naked, <laughs> going out there in the cold. Does it ever feel like that? Oh my goodness, when we've got a challenge in a comfort zone. We're tied into this shell that we live in. Some people call it a, a heart wall. I'll even refer to it as that. He said, we build a wall around our heart because of hate and suspicion, things that have happened to us in our lives. And then our mission, our mission is to help people break down that wall and build a bridge so that our love, our agape love, our heightened level of awareness can enter their soul. That's ideal. But what happens if we're still in our comfort zone? Here's some things to consider. In scroll number eight, I'll multiply my value a hundredfold. Og starts by comparing us to a grain of wheat, just a little grain of wheat. And he says we have three options. Number one, we can be put in a sack dumped in a stall and fed to the swine. Or we can take that grain of wheat and grind it into flour, make it into bread and have it broken open and devoured by the will of others. Or we can choose to have that grain of wheat planted in the darkness of the soil, the humus. Humus is the root word of humility being teachable, planted in the darkness of the soil. He said the darkness of the soil is all of our discouragements and despairs and our failures. We're planted in there in order to ripen. Ripen means to mature. And when we mature, we break open, we go through the soil up into the light into a hundred stalks of wheat, hundred grains. He says that wheat itself has to wait on the weather, but yet I get to make my own choice. We get to make our own choice to do this. Now I've been pondering this scroll this week in preparation for sharing this concept with you. And I realized something. I don't know that we've ever articulated this. You see, when we, when we look at this grain of wheat, we're holding it in our hand but he's comparing us to it. He's, he's inviting us to get inside the grain of wheat. Here's the shell of a husk. Here we are inside, that's us. We're the life force inside this shell. Now from this perspective, are we gonna stay small? Are we gonna let our fears crush us and be fed to the swine? Or we're going to let life circumstances crack us open and, and turn us into bread and have people devour us, consume our lives? Or are we going to agree 
be humble, planted in the humus, in the dark soil, and have those failures and those despairs and those discouragements help us to ripen, to mature and grow. Well, how do we do that? What is he talking about? In quality number one, connection with people, I share a dream I had in Chicago, the Chicago dream. And the next video is gonna be all about understanding that dream more effectively. But in short, we are to take our challenges, our despairs, our discouragements, everything that's been done to us, everything that we've done, all of our failures, hold them in our hand. Is anyone else suffering from a similar wound? Hmm. And then engrave it on our heart so that it's a reference point when we're talking to another person. We hear things we may not have heard otherwise. We ask questions we may not have otherwise. And that painful experience finally has purpose. And we're finding joy in the journey. And the more joy we find, the more comfortable it is to expand or break out of our comfort zone because it's no longer about us and our problems. We're using them now in the service of another. And our shell begins to soften as we have this experience. And we have healing in our soul. So my question to you, do you feel this? Are there times when it's uncomfortable to step out into a crowd where you don't know the people and to initiate a conversation? For some, that's so easy. For others, it's nearly debilitating. Given the option at the end of a day, would you rather curl up to a good book at the fire, your fire with a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate or tea? Or would you like to go to an event where you don't know anybody and, and talk to people and connect and, and learn a lot about other people? Which one would you prefer? The fireplace or the social event? When it comes time to make a cold call in your business where you need to talk to a prospect, how comfortable is it just to pick up the phone and make the call? Do you ever procrastinate that activity? And then when you do, it's like stepping outside that warm house out into a blizzard and you come back and it takes a little while to recover so you can do the next one. Do you have a comfort zone issue about standing on a stage and speaking to people and just being totally present for them? Or are you all concerned about how you're going to sound, how it's going to come across? Are you inside your shell standing on that stage talking to people? Do you have one of these shells? If you do, I'm going to invite you to watch the next video and then go into quality number one and learn the principles of intrinsic validation. How to step into someone's world. Now, I'll teach you the technique, but it's not about the technique. It's about caring enough about another person to actually listen to them because you've taken that which has been dragged around in your sack, put it in your heart, you're showing up totally focused on them. It's no longer about your shell. And in time it softens. We're gonna drive you back into that piece and in the Chicago dream. But I wanna share with you some things about the Chicago dream I've never discussed out loud to help you gain a greater understanding of the power in this process and the reluctance we often have in doing it and why we have that reluctance and why that exacerbates us having this shell around us that is not serving us. It is time to learn the principles and break out of this shell and be comfortable, expand that comfort zone and be comfortable with other people. And you'll start by doing this with other people. And I'm excited to show you how to do that. Next month, we'll be back to you with another insight to assist you in going deeper into your og vault, into these principles of connecting with people and using your mind constructively instead of going into fantasy, staying in creation, intrinsically valuing what you're creating, 
staying present in the now, and embracing structure willingly, intrinsically valuing it, finding joy in the journey, and healing self-esteem. These are the foundational principles that govern every skill set. You can study skills, but if these foundational pieces aren't there, there's a good chance you won't do it or you'll procrastinate it way beyond its effectiveness. We want to be in action, passion-driven, taking on our lives and creating magnificent things. And we're here to serve you in doing that. So watch the next video about the Chicago dream and how to begin the process of breaking through this shell. Thanks. Look forward to being back with you next month.